Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Malik Yomidin, Iya Kena Abudu Wa Iya Kel Endisi, Ihdin Nasrat Al Mustaqim, Nasrat Al Lazina An Amta Alaihim, Gair Al Magdubi Alaihim Walad Dalil. Amin. Hey Azu, so please wait. Everybody should wait here. Mofia Moya Biya, Mobiya Ninachi, Okoba Iya Papa Oniya Baba Kasa, Ejobiya Enchoi, Obiya Enchoi Wa Security Help Us. Ma obi ani na ji en kosro ho yasamo John Dramani Mahama. Salasi John Ramani Mahama 2024 election A by John NDC. So there you can see in the shot um, the women of uh, the great NDC uh, dancing to the beautiful tunes here at the forecourt of the national headquarters of the party in Adarabakra. In a shot also. Uh, you can see some big wigs of the uh, party uh, indeed uh, earlier uh, you um, saw or you watched the prayer session from the Ghana traditional council and indeed the arrival of the campaign coordinator uh, professor joshua alabi uh, with the other uh, members of uh, the campaign team uh, 
Busun So indeed the um, program continues here. If you're just tuning in, remember this is the live coverage of His Excellency John Ramani Mohammed's vetting session uh, here at the uh, party headquarters at Abraka. Uh, quite a number of uh, viewers on Facebook as well as YouTube and the other digital platforms. Please do well to drop your messages under the broadcast. Uh, of course, let us know where you are watching from as well and share your comments. Remember to share the um, link as well. Um, in studio with me here is a lawyer Beatrice Annan, who is a deputy spokesperson for the John Mahama uh, campaign team. And we're having a conversation on his campaign so far. Earlier, we spoke about where they have gone to, and as far as the campaign launch is also a concern. Uh, well, so let, let me get to speak to you. Uh, earlier, we mentioned the fact that he has begun the campaign he's made some specific comments and some promises as well you were telling us about running a government of just 60 ministers and legally i asked whether it is prudent to do so and how does he intend doing that when he wins power in the 2024 general elections so i was saying that if you look at how the economy has been run down if you look at the fact that all our macroeconomic indicators are showing that 40 years in the history of this country we are worse off than we used to be it's important that we don't do the things the way we used to do them and so you cannot keep doing the things the old ways and expect new results and one of the ways of changing the, the structure of our governance and committing to new democratic lines is to run a lean government and that's what president mahama has promised and he would deliver you you realize that when he was president he ran a country with about 82 ministers he's been president before he says that it's possible we can do 60 ministers i think that as an experienced politician he knows what he's talking about his he has he has a man of integrity who does what he says that he would do he said he was going to build 200 secondary schools he started 200 secondary schools and completed 47 with 123 at various stages of completion so it's possible now the second thing that he promised and let me also say that there is nothing unconstitutional about that i i made the point earlier that you just don't have to do below or from 19 and above you, you are okay and so nothing or there are no constitutional factors to that promise one of the promise which i personally was excited about was the promise to review the constitution and to scrap the s gratia benefits for the executive and among others other arms of government i think that for me, as a student of constitutional law and for, for, for those of us who are legal practitioners, I keep saying that it was important that we are having to do the constitutional amendment after experiencing another presidency. Because none of us thought that in the history of our life and as a country, we'll have a president who doesn't respect what lawyers say, constitutionalism. And so constitutionalism is you ruling according to some tenet, believing that the conscience of the president should be an overriding principle and also deriving the supremacy from the will and the wishes of the people you seek to guard. And so even though these tenets may not be written in black and white ink, there have been tenets that have guided every president, including President Kufo, who was who was a president of the tickets of the MPP. But over the past six years, we've seen a lot of impunity on the part of government, disrespect for all democratic institutions, party communicators and foot soldiers being put in positions of electoral commissioners. You see that if the president doesn't like the electoral commissioner, he some way somehow has to let the electoral commissioner go. If the president wants a new voter regi um, register, it has to be done for him. It's as though we are not practicing the democracy, we are practicing some form of autocracy or, 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 or 
oligarchy. You, you don't even understand exactly what we are doing. So it's important that his promise for constitutional review is coming at a time when Ghana is at its lowest end, where Ghana has experienced governance that has been reduced to naught and and it will guide us in shaping and detecting for ourselves the kind of governance structure that we want going forward and i'm excited about that promise to review the constitution president mahama has also been saying a lot of things on on this journey to becoming a president again key among which is that the president or the government ought to stop being reckless we've experienced too much waste and recklessness randy it's sad to know that from 2017 till now this government had had in excess of 800 billion cities by way of loans tax revenue grants royalties and all other sources of revenue out of this 800 billion 93 percent have gone into consumption that shows a government that is reckless not infrastructural development as we've seen and so it's important that we elect a man who is not reckless it's important that you elect a man who appreciates and can understand the dynamics and the mood of the citizens he seeks to govern and for me i think that is president mahama if you look at all the frontliners even for the other political party nobody has exhibited the kind of skill and tact and understanding of governance like he has and, and i think that that's the more reason why we, we should we should be considering the promises and be paying attention to the things he's been saying on the campaign. Beatrice, I'm grateful. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm grateful and it's always a pleasure to be here. We'll catch you after the vetting <laughs> process as well for you to wrap up with us. Sure, sure. Great. So there you have the uh, deputy spokesperson for the John Mahama campaign, a lawyer Beatrice Annan. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, uh, Madam Joyce Bauer Mokhtari will also be joining us on set for us to continue with the conversation till the time uh, His Excellency will be arriving for the vetting process. Stay with us here on Wazor TV. I'm going to be here today to look at the here John Germany Mahama Natural Governor. Egma John Germany Mahama and your mother is here to the effort to If you have a made to move, we can make a move. Lo <laughs> Because I walk with you, man, in my beer, I say, Ya can be up for Nina San and Ada. Ya ne la bomo to a lencha one echo poi. Wally Aka can't rely on a fan with him when she cannot be a team when Poland chair back on the way. Why yes, can one and why? Time in it, why would that one? Dollar in your seventeen plus. Be an echo about twelve, but come out with that seventeen. Seven or two of that one. Now, the Neman Koye crowd, Obi Bana, Obi, or Pebino Kra, Obo Price, and Anoko. Complaining, oh, or Nipana Babet or Nanka, or you complain, I'm saying, Chang, who's who I want to add and say, and Toshi, T. Shayan Kosso. Time in Mama Baba, no, I bought Mutu eight thousand. Be an old two most three hundred and something million. A Jalawa, one year, why? Men come on, and now look, Papa. The machine is 300 million. One year, what he call a net one boundary. It is 2000 price. The end to me, crying yamau. End to me, crying yamau with this current value. Yeah, dollar will do. End to me, crying yamau. It is a game when you be crying. Most no control dollar net now. Bread will do 4.5. No, she fool. How much was it? 14 cities. Line and a ton one city 50 pesos. And there are seven cities. 
Entina ama ye bre ye ntumi chese ye djuma we de se se ade e gu kra wo ba fu ye djuma ndi kakra wo benya no wo de beto light wo beto light chese la e mu line ni ni ama wo beto be we no na hwi nkuta entini de ye djuma we de aba we we be gu no pese ye mi baba no ma fu wo bo na ye den enko form se si a mi no kasa se si a no part bi a mi to no 3 months ago 45 Sisi ya milu ukasa nu, eye 12,000. Nuni ya nu wata wane baji. Wani bi fe fe basa. Wano kunu 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 kwe yi. Sukuwe na ke free education wabi ye. Nami bi yi 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 wame fofo yi. Sukuwe bena me yo yele yye sabo. Nabi ane ayele sukuwe totu. Yele one totu, two totu, three totu. Tom Agatamansua, fourth expansion be a while when you have woman be coimina, never mammy one hammy. A proposal, one hour, into your old decay, so you have a man one hour. Send the panana, a dinner tea, and a nebobra. Dear me, bah, meaning there, the way now in one was the economy over to one managing why young will be an infill. What to my year? Pray, you see, the time also by ye or ye. No, you can let you know, let John Germani Mohammed win your day. Let her fair a fever, fair blave, fair manifesto. You came over one again at the coa. I get a gun at the comic video. G. Would you have one plow, he be a bow, soften no me bear, happy for ever manifesto, no fool, head and corner bear, the people's manifesto. What do you want to go to your mamma about challenging? Go on, go on, go on, challenge. Your mamma, I promise you, Sunny. Ale on opus. Ayage, lege no jo mama na kuwa do balaka o. Aye yenson ushwe, unwason ushwe, unwason ushwe ni efe o four one nine. Waka mukoje, ndi zipati yemi le un le uneba. Lege o sole ushwe, le uneba efe o four one nine. Prime Minister na ya ne sima muka contest le, because mo fear mo no ba 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 yebo, ba yebo hands down. Mo ameka ba me na. Oh, yeah, couple of guys, a children's home. They can't be a day. Still staying with us here on Wazo TV. Remember, this telecast is coming from the premises of uh, the uh, national headquarters of the NDC, where it's actually the day uh, set aside for His Excellency John Dramani Mahama to uh, have uh, him be inverted as far as running for uh, the flag bearership race is concerned. Earlier, we had a conversation with lawyer Beatrice Anna, who is the deputy spokesperson for the John Mahama campaign. Joining me on set is um, uh, Madam Joyce Bawa Mokhtari, who is actually the spokesperson for the John Mahama campaign and also a special aid to uh, His Excellency John Andramani Mahama. Let's get to talk about what exactly he's been saying on the um, tour so far. Uh, we are made to understand that he's covered about uh, some 17 constituencies. Uh, he has met 23,915 delegates and traveled some 973 kilometers so far. What exactly has been the message? Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you very much. A very good morning to all of you. And uh, greetings from the party headquarters where President Mahama has just arrived for the process of festival and for his approval of the consent and the of the party in election. Person for the John Mahama campaign and also the special aid um, to John Mahama. Uh, great. So certainly we are working very, very hard, and you know that the campaign was launched in the Volta region, specifically in yeah. Wu, yeah. on the campus of the University for Health and Allied Sciences. So, so I, I asked Beatrice earlier, what was so significant about the fact that you had to go and launch the campaign in the Volta region? Volta region is home to the NDC. It is home to the founder of the NDC, the late Jerry John Rawlins. 
It is a place where Professor John Ivan Sata Mills promised a public university and delivered the University for Health and Allied Sciences. So Volta Region represents many things for the National Democratic Congress. And so it was actually not a matter of options. President Mahama just decided to go and launch his campaign for 2024 in the Volta Region. And you also know that the Volta Region gave us all of their seats in Parliament except for the Hohoi seat. And we also know that the Santrophy is actually